Hi guys, and welcome back to another Vlogmas video. Today I'm going to be taking you through a Morphe 35M Boss Move Palette tutorial. Eyeshadow tutorial. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be using an unconventional color palette. I got this idea from another YouTuber and I will leave her link down below. Um, this is not my original creation, so I just want to put that out there. I am recreating this look um, and doing this tutorial for you for my Vlogmas. Uh, this is the look that I plan to wear for Christmas, so hopefully it turns out just as well on me, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. First off, I want to show you just how beautiful this palette is. I, you can see that I've been dipping into several of the pans. I've had this palette for a couple of months now, so um, I've gotten to play around with quite a few of the shades. So I just wanted to go ahead and give you a quick preview of what all the shades look like, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I am going to do is prime my eyelids using this uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, um, because I do not have an eyeshadow primer. I usually just use this and it works pretty great for me. And so I'm going to go ahead and put that all over my eyelids to prep them for, uh, for eyeshadow. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is going in with this orange shade here called Fired Up and I'm going to be applying it into my crease line. So I'm just blending and blending and blending. I really love this orange shade. I never thought I would be a person to say that though. <laughs> I guess it's just uh, getting older, I guess, growing. Okay. Next, I'm going to be going in with the color Sweet Beats, which is one of my favorites as well. I use this one all the time for pretty much every look I do. And I'm just going to be taking it in. Oops. and putting it in the crease in circular motions. Just really blending it. We don't want any harsh lines. And I'm gonna kinda bring it out here to this corner here. My husband surprised me with another little gift. Um, since I didn't get an advent calendar this year, he kind of uh, decided to do something a little nice for me and got me some uh, surprise gifts, which is nice. He didn't need to do that, but you know, he did. Um, and one of those gifts were new uh, Monroe lip rings. So, this piercing here. This is a new ring he got me. Um, it actually came in a set and I, I don't know if anybody's interested but I could totally do a, um, a video on them. They fit perfectly and I've been meaning to downsize my bar um, 
So when I pierced it, it needed the additional uh, space. But now that it's um, the swelling is all done and everything, I've been needing to uh, decrease the bar length. That way it doesn't cause any problems with my gums or my teeth or any additional problems, I guess, because there's always some damage that happens when you have piercings um, in your oral cavities. Um, wow, I don't know why, but this one looks super pretty to me right now. This one's like, meh, meh, it's there. But this one, wow. I always have one eye that looks amazing compared to the other one. Well, my personal opinion, I guess, that's kind of... That sounds kind of like snobby, but I don't think that I am the best makeup person by any means. But I do actually try to better myself and practice, and um, I really enjoy it. It it makes me feel a little put together, and it's fun for me. I always like to see what I can create. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I, I just think that it's fun and I think anybody should be able to play with it and use it and wear it and uh, I think it should be very accessible for people that want to, especially stuff that's not super expensive. Um, that's why I like Morphe because they, the, palette wise, it's not super expensive and you're getting a lot of colors. So even if not every color is your cup of tea, they're... Um, there's still something for everybody and every skin tone and every, you know, in, 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 a, in generally in a palette. I mean, obviously there's going to be some exceptions to that rule. Okay. So next up, um, let's see. I feel like I want to add just a little bit more. I have really hooded eyes, so I tend to lose makeup looks pretty easily. Um, so I like to kind of build up a little higher than maybe some people would like to see, but as soon as my eyes relax, it's like the makeup disappears. So only I get to see the makeup, and that's why I take a lot of photos um, looking down, is because you lose it as soon as I look up at you. <laughs> okay, so next I'm going to be going in with the color Transformer, which is this deep purple color here. It, it might kind of show up kind of black in the video there but it is a deep purple color and um, we're gonna put that on the outer uh, V and kind of blend it in to the cranberry shade and the brushes that I'm using are just um, cheap dollar store brushes that I got, uh, well, at the dollar store, obviously, but these are the wet and wild ones, and I love them. I think that they are amazing. Every time I go to the dollar store, I want to buy more of them, and my husband keeps me in check because I don't need more of them because I have plenty of them on hand. Actually, that's not true. I could use a couple more of certain ones, but, um, they haven't sold them at our store in a while, so... When they come in stock again, I will grab some. Um, woo, that looks kind of rough. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of that uh, cranberry shade and go back in over this purple here to kind of blend in um, the edge so it's not quite so harsh. like getting deeper and deeper down and I'm not trying to do that uh ouch I'm sitting in a weird chair today because the other chair is having some kind of malfunction um so I'm sitting in like an actual dining room chair and so it's a little lower and it's kind of cranky cranky crinkly I don't know what the word is I'm looking for guys um it likes to make a lot of crinkle sounds crinkle sounds that's not what I'm trying to say <sighs> brain fog I don't know. Anyways, it makes a lot of noises if I'm not careful. I have to sit still. That way it doesn't pick up too much. You know, I already got the cats, rats, dogs, and all that. Um, that can make a, a noise. So we don't want that. See, this is what I'm talking about. One eye always looks just different than the other. 
this one is definitely doing better. I am going to go ahead and take that um, Sweet Beats color and go right over the top of this purple here and try to blend it out again. No harsh lines, guys. No harsh lines. Also, I did my eyebrows yesterday. That way I could film this look and they wouldn't be outrageous. Um, I'm kind of slowly doing this Christmas transformation and you guys are going to kind of see that. Like, next up is nails, I think. I mean, after this look, obviously. I still got to do nails and, um, gosh, I don't even know what else. Uh, nails and, oh, I got to go shopping for my outfit. So that's a future video that's coming up. And I know it seems silly to pick your color palette before you actually find an outfit, but I know I could tweak it if I need to. I am pretty certain that this will work for whatever look that I do or whatever outfit I find. Um, I have a specific color set in mind, so I know what I'm looking for. It's just a matter of actually going shopping for it because I don't usually go out in the people world. So there's that. Um, Let's see, okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next step. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with the concealer or um, if you have a primer again, and we're gonna do a cut crease. So I'm, I have not done very many cut crease looks, so I'm still new at this and I'm still working at it. I definitely would like to get a good um, eyeshadow primer at some point. I am going to go a little higher than my actual crease because of my um, hooded eyes. Just realized how many weird faces I make. So once it's completely set, I'm going to go in with the shade Stroke of Luck, this green color, and I know it looks absurd, guys, but we're going to do it. And we're going to pack that on basically everywhere that we just laid down our cut crease, our, our concealer. All right, and then to uh, help blend it together a little bit more, I'm going to go in with this green shade here called Green with Envy, and I'm going to be putting that into the outer corner. You know, I'm going to switch brushes here.
Now I'm going to go in on the bottom side here and smoke out my lower lash line for starting with the orange color fired up. Then I'm going to go in with Sweet Beats, just in the outer most corner, and I'm going to bring it up. And then I'm going to add just a little touch of that purple transformer color. Okay, we're looking a little crazy still. I'm gonna take some sweet beats and I'm just gonna kind of come up here again. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my eyes off camera and uh, I will be right back. And there you have it. It is my finalized look. I added some lashes, of course, some eyeliner. <laughs> my toddler's at home. And uh, just a simple lip gloss because I don't really have a color that would go well with this look. Um, so I guess that will be something that I will be in the market for too when I do my shopping for my outfit. Uh, so let me know what you guys think of this look. I'll put a poll up in the cards. Check it out. Let me know. Or you can leave your comment down below in the uh, comment section. I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. <laughs>